hey what's going on guys let's try this problem right here here we have a light ray that is traveling from air to water and when it travels from air to water there is a reflection and a refraction so here the angle between reflection and refraction is 90 degrees so when the angle between reflection and refraction is 90 degrees the reflected angle will be polarized so when the reflected angle is polarized the incident angle is called Brewster's angle now here the question is asking what is the Brewster's angle now let's let's see how we can find it first of all we have to know that incident angle and reflected angle will be always equal so we can say here this Brewster's angle is equal to this reflected angle so if we call reflected angle theta 1 theta b is going to be equal to theta 1 right and also so here we are going to use, use Snell's law so in order to do Snell's law we have, we have to know two things we have to know incident angle and this refracted angle right now let's call this refracted angle theta 2 and if we put this one theta 2 we have two unknown variables we have theta 1 and theta 2 right now let's try to bring this as one unknown variable so it's, it, will, it will be easy to solve right so here we know that 90 degree is this and rest of them has to be 90 degrees because this is a line and we know that angle of a line is going to be 180 degree so 90 degrees gone we have 90 degree left so theta 1 plus theta 2 must be 90 degree right so therefore theta 2 must be 90 minus theta 1 now this is useful because we can apply this in Snell's law and bring everyone in terms of theta 1 now let's go ahead and use Snell's law Snell's law is n1 sin theta 1 is equal to n2 sin theta 2 now instead of sin theta 2 we can plug this instead of theta 2 we can plug 90 minus theta 1 so here we, go, we are going to have n1 sin theta 1 is equal to n2 sin 90 minus theta 1 right 90 minus theta 1 and if you re remember that 90 minus theta 1 is cos theta 1 so we can replace this one with n1 sin theta 1 is equal to n2 cos theta 1 right now let's move all the theta 1 to one side and n values to the other side so here we are going to have n sin theta 1 over cos theta 1 is equal to n2 over n1 now let's continue right here so sin theta over cos theta is tan theta so this is going to be tan theta 1 is equal to n2 is this one index of refraction of water that is 1.33 and index of refraction of air that is 1 therefore theta 1 is going to be tan inverse of 1.33 over 1 now if you calculate this one you will get 53.06 degrees now this is the angle this is the Brewster angle we had to have in order to have a reflected angle that is polarized right so if you want to make angle between reflected angle and the reflected angle 90 degrees you have to have this uh, incident angle and this is our final answer I hope you guys find this video helpful See you next time.